Hello my little mystic tribe, welcome back. Hope you are all okay and that you had a really blessed week. Um, so this week we're gonna be doing a no contact reading for those of you and your person that aren't currently speaking or communicating or they are ghosting you. Just before I get on with the reading, I don't know if you guys checked out Mr. Love Tara's Instagram and Facebook this week, well, our mine, me and my guys, Instagram and Facebook this week. I have done um, an information about me going on maternity leave. So I just wanna cover that with you guys now, just so you know what is going on and I'll put it all in the description for you. So I have got a cesarean date now. Um, I've got to have a cesarean due to my disability. So the due date of our baby was the 24th of November because we were all like, yay, Thanksgiving baby, even though we don't celebrate Thanksgiving in England, all you guys are like, yeah, Thanksgiving baby. He's going the week before. So his due date and the date for the surgery is now the 17th of November. And that that's the time that they've booked me in. So I have had to kind of plan maternity around that. And what is gonna happen when I'm gonna stop reading is the last day of video readings that I'm gonna do for you guys is gonna be the 5th of November. Now, you guys have Thanksgiving, we have bonfire night. I don't know if you, I don't think you have bonfire night in uh, different parts of the world, but in England, we have bonfire night. And they always teach you at school, remember, remember the 5th of November, gunpowder season, Gunpowder, treason and plot. I see no reason why gunpowder and treason, treason should otherwise be forgot. <laughs> and it was when Guy Fawkes tries to blow up the Houses of Parliament. Um, so the 5th of November, remember, remember the 5th of November, is going to be my last working day of doing readings. I'm going to start maternity on the 6th of November. That's my start date. So if you want a video reading before I go on maternity, you need to book by the 22nd of October. That's gonna be the, the final point. Any kind of money that, um, if you book, pay for a video reading after that date, I'm just gonna refund the money into your PayPal accounts. So I'll just send it right back to you. So um, I will also be putting my, I've got my notes down here if I keep looking down, I'm also going to be putting my out of office on from the 6th of November. So I will still be checking my emails, I'm just not planning on checking them very often. Um, the other thing that I do plan on doing, rather than just kind of leaving you in the lurch and just kind of suddenly, suddenly saying, okay, 6th of November, I'm gone is I'm still planning on doing email readings and voice note readings on Instagram and Facebook. So I do the email readings, I do the voice note readings. Um, I plan to do those, sorry, a bit of acid, lovely. <laughs> I plan to do those up until the 15th of November. So like two days before he's due, I'm still gonna be planning on doing you voicemail readings and email readings. Um, so the turnaround time for them will still be 24 to 40, 48 hours. It's still £8.50 a question. Um, and obviously it's either gonna be a voice memo or an email depending on your preference. So doing them up until the 15th of November. And then 16th, 17th, definitely having that off, <laughs> um, getting ready. Obviously, if you can't decide that he wants to pop out a little bit early, um, these things can change. But this is what my maternity plan is for you guys. I've recorded a bunch of maternity reading. I'm calling them maternity readings, but I've pre-recorded you a bunch of uh, public readings that I am going to release every week from for you. And at the start of each of those videos, I will do an update on how I'm doing, how the baby's doing, how we're getting on. Um, and if you want to see all the pictures and videos and everything like that I'm going to post, please go over to the Mystic Love Tarot Instagram and Facebook and or, you know, I, I post the same on both. So whichever one you prefer, Instagram or Facebook, they both say the same things. Pretty much. On Facebook, I can copy a bit of my uh, Druid stuff over, but you can't do that on Instagram. So sometimes there's a little bit more on Facebook. Uh, but Instagram, the, there's a lot of stuff on there as well. So it doesn't really matter. Um, but if you want to keep up to date on that, details, Instagram, Facebook, and the pictures and the videos and things will be put onto there so you can see how we are getting on. And as I said, keep an eye on YouTube because at the start of each week, I will do a recorded video for you. And that's the maternity. One more time. Last day of readings, 5th of November. Maternity leave starting the 6th of November. Booked by October 22nd to avoid disappointment. Out of office is going to be on from the 6th of November. Payment made in full after that day uh, will... Payment made after that day will have a full refund. Voicemail readings and email readings going on till the 15th of November. And then I'm cutting that. And stay up to date on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram for details on where we are and what's going on. 
okay i hope i, I hope i made that as understanding as possible um it's quite a it's quite hard to kind of write it all down and say well this is happening and that's happening without blowing your minds a little bit so this week what we are doing is no contact no contact reading kind of interesting really that i'm talking to you about maternity and then we're doing a no contact reading so Deck number one and deck number two. Spirit really drew me to the earthly decks today. So this is the Robin Wood Tarot. And this one is the Enchanted, Forest Enchantment Tarot. I have got a uh, SPD to do with your pelvis um, and I can't walk. And for a druid and for a girl of nature, it's absolutely hurting my soul that I can't just go outside. I've got the window curtains drawn at the moment I keep looking outside and you can see this beautiful view of nature from here yeah. so there's my back garden there's my shed but if you go that way i don't know if you can see i'm trying to show you you got all the uh all the the woodlands i don't live on the edge of the peak district so um it's a beautiful place it's a beautiful beautiful place but when you can't walk very well it's very very annoying <laughs> okay right Back onto your reading. I promise I'm going to get this done. <laughs> deck number one and deck number two. Um, pick your cards. And as always, we work on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your circumstances and situation. Deck number one. Let's go. Get me to everyone's energy watching deck number one. Everyone's energy. Deck number one. And I want you to think about your person for me. And as you're thinking about your person, we're going to go into the strongest mutual energy between you all. Their thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes. And all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances and changes. So the first thing that Spirit is saying as I'm kind of going into your person's energy is there is a block. That is the first thing that they are communicating. And it's coming through my right ear. Um, when Spirit communicates through my right ear, this is higher energy. So this is like Ascended Masters, Archangels, uh, Goddess. They always speak through my right ear, higher vibrational guides. Left ear is a lot more close guides, your guides, per, uh, your ancestors, etc, etc. So... No contact. What is going on with their person? Let's have a look. What is going on? We. What is going on with their person? Can anyone else feel like the Sarwain energy is rising? Like it's so strong and powerful at the moment. Two. Let's have that. Three. Four. What's going on in this no contact? And will they contact them? Is there going to be a reach out of communication? Just add three cards to the side over here. Will they contact those watching? One. Two. Three. Overall outcome. Your person is having a bit of a breather from whoop, a bit of a breather from this situation. This room is so small, I have everything everywhere. They're having a bit of a breather from the situation. Um, they have got their knickers in a little bit of a twist over it all. And when we're looking kind of at the cards at the very, very top, you have these two new beginnings. You have the Ace of Cups, you have the Ace of Pentacles. A new beginning based on love and a new beginning based on stability and security. But both of these are kind of upside down. So your person's world has kind of turned around a little bit at this moment in time. Their head and their heart are a little bit everywhere. Scattered, Spirit is saying. So you've heard the words blocked and we heard the words scattered. Their heart and their head are kind of pulling them in very, very opposite directions. Your person has very, very strong feelings for you and I can feel those emotions really coming through my heart. But their head is really kind of driven by fear at this point in time. And we have the Nine of Swords kind of coming up with that. A lot of fears a lot of nightmares and a lot of oh my god what am i doing where is this going what's going to happen they've panicked and they freaked out and they've done a bit of a runner now let's have a look what's caused this panic what's caused this panic in debt number one's person okay so the panic that's come from this is the panic to do with the fact that they feel that they should be settling down 
that they do actually really like you um, and they've just had a bit of a freak out. So when we're asking why they're panicking, you've got the Empress and you've got the King of Pentacles. So this is your person's energy. Uh, remember, we're never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel, but with tarot, it always works with a male and a female. So we have a male energy and we have a female energy. Both of these cards are symbolizing a family connection, a bond, a love between the two of you. But it's just that perhaps it's been a little bit too intense. It's been very much planning a future, uh, planning a pathway, planning a direction with one another. And your person's had a freak out on it and thought, well, actually, you know what? Am I quite ready to settle down? Is this really what I want? And that's why these two cards over here, these new beginnings are in reverse. So basically, in short, your person's had a bit of a paddy, a bit of a panic. And they've gone, oh my God. I don't know if I'm ready to kind of settle down. I don't know if I'm ready for a relationship. You guys watching, I know what, your person knows what you want from them. And this is kind of what's panicked them a little bit. They're feeling a little bit frustrated with themselves as well, Spirit are saying. So what they've done is they felt the intensity coming forward. They've, they, like I said, they know what you want. They know that you want to be with them. They know that you want a relationship with them. And they've panicked. They've panicked over it all because they're not quite sure that they're, they are ready. So they've gone... Bruh. Okay, no contact. That's what's happened. That's the majority of you guys' energy. Now, why they've been so triggered by it is likely to do with stuff from their past. So they've probably got issues from childhood, issues from previous relationships, issues with mums, issues with dads, where there's just this very much this triggering energy. They don't want to get themselves into a position where they feel stuck. It's like their worst fear. At the moment, they feel, feel like they can kind of manoeuvre, they can dance, they can go around one pathway or another pathway. They've got freedom. And the idea of feeling a little bit more trapped by situations, it, it puts the fear panic in them. This nine of swords, it panics them. Um, so it's going to be likely that this is kind of a little bit more deep rooted than surface level. Um, you guys haven't done anything wrong. Please don't feel that that's what we're saying. You haven't done anything wrong. It's your person has having a panic over it all and they have kind of took a step back, cut the cords. Now, the interesting thing over here, when we looked at your cards to begin with, um, obviously we have these two cards in reverse, the two new beginnings over here in reverse. It's kind of saying delays, not yet. We have the Fool coming forward. Now, the Fool talks about a new beginning. It talks about kind of starting, a start of a new journey. Um, the blocks on this, that Spirit have said, are actually going behind your person. So at this moment in time, the energy is blocked. Progression moves forward. Um, the, the blocks come up behind them. They, they return. So they will return. They return. Um, there is some beautiful, there's a magpie down there. There is some beautiful, beautiful goddess music, um, which is called The Returning. And it was written by, I can't remember the lady who wrote it. Um, you have to go onto her website, but it's called The Returning. And it was written in one of the goddess temples. Um, I want to say in Greece. Um, but this is what it kind of reminds me of. You guys have got no idea what I'm talking about. Jennifer, someone. Ret the Returning. Um, so... Your person, the reason why they're giving me that and they're giving me that song is because your person's returned to you. Delays, return. Return, return, return. The earth, the air, the fire, the water, return, 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 return. If you want to give something a little bit more power energy. Just like the seasons, right? Seasons are constantly changing, constantly flowing. We're now heading, like I said, into Sarwain. The energies are, are powerful. Uh, the trees are about to lose all their leaves. Everything's about to kind of fall down and it's going to go into winter where it goes a little bit more sparse. But the, it's having that knowledge that the seasons always kind of return you know spring will come summer will come so even though it might feel be feeling like a little bit barren and a little bit ooh, at the moment nothing really happening you have the return of the connection between you guys when we're asking about contact and then coming back into contact with you, we've got the five of ones and we've got the six of swords. So we have this kind of conflicting energy going on within them. At the moment, they're taking a step back from the situation. Um, they are going to feel a little bit stuck, a little bit unsure on what to do. And we have the scales of justice coming up over here. So karmic energy kind of being rebalanced if you need a past life reading give me a shout uh, we can clear the karmic energies that are lying between you guys by using those past life readings if you need me details in the description 
Um, so we have the scales of justice balancing out, the karmic energy kind of flowing. It's going to be clearing, clearing away. And this is kind of why you guys need a little bit. Spirit are calling it downtime rather than no contact. They're calling it downtime. So having a little bit of downtime for your person to miss you, miss the connection, miss what's going on with you both. Um, the conflicting energy that's happening over here is conflicting of, the, again, the head and the heart. We have this battle happening. Um, they're feeling very, very overwhelmed, and that's why they've took a step back, floated away from it. Now, if you look at this card and you look at the very, very back of this card, you can see that there is actually a spirit or a ghost rider on the back. OK, now the spirit guiding this boat. We've got two things going on here. We have your ancestors, your loved ones, your helpers, your guides guiding the situation forward. Equally, this is you, your energy being at the back of their mind. So you've got their mind here, you are at the back of their mind. So even if they're in no contact and you're not speaking to them and your heart is full of dread and fear and panic, you are still in the back of their mind. And again, that return, 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 return coming forward. We've got two fours popping out their heads over here. Could be four weeks, could be four months for a timing for you guys on when the, the contact will return. Um, Again, that's kind of a mutual energy. If you wanted to look at individual timings, give me a shout because it can be before, it can be after, but your mutual timing is a four, four weeks, four months. Some of you guys could be lucky and it could be four days. We have your rest period coming to a close. Your person feeling a little bit fed up with the situation and what they have, spirit of calling it a rod for their own back. They're going to realise that they've caused a rod for their own back with the three of cups over here. This is what they were thinking that they wanted you are standing right beside them and this is where the reconnection will happen. So at the moment and what they're doing, they're having a freak out, they're having a panic. You're probably going to find that they might be partaking in some escapism behaviour. So escapism behaviour doesn't like have to be alcohol, drugs, sex, etc, etc. It can be stuff like just sitting on game station and playing it for hours and hours on end, staying out with their mates, not getting home till really early hours of the morning. You might find that there is a little bit of escapism behaviour going on because they're just trying to pull a bit, put a bit of distance between you and them. Doesn't mean they don't have feelings for you. There is a very strong energy here. It's just your person has had a wobble. A wobble, a panic, uh, because it was all very serious. It was all very serious and they actually saw a future with you and they're like, oh my God, I don't know if I'm ready for that. And that, my loves, is deck number one. So if you need me, give me a shout. Um, if you have just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, um, and you just watched the reading, just talking about maternity quickly. My last day of private readings will be the 5th of November. My maternity leave is starting on the 6th of November, but by October 22nd to avoid any disappointment on private readings. My out of office is going to be on from the 6th, though I will still check it. Any payments made after the, the uh, 22nd of October, I will return in full to you. Um, video, uh, voice, I've put V readings here, voice readings and email readings. I'm going to carry on to the 15th of November. Baby is coming on the 17th if he doesn't come early. Stay up to date on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube for all the details of how we are, how we're doing and how the baby is and when I get back to work, when I get back to doing recordings for you. All right, my beauties, love you all to pieces. Speak to you soon. Ciao. Okay, guys, deck number two. Let's do this. So if you just tapped in, tuned in, turned on, uh, just a little quick recap. I've just uh, said on Instagram and Facebook about maternity and also on this video. Um, my last day of private readings before I go on maternity leave is the 5th of November. I'm going to start my maternity leave on the 6th of November. Book by October 22nd if you want a video reading before I go on maternity. My out of office is going to be on from the 6th of November. So um, I will still be checking it, but not so often. Any payment that you make after the 22nd of October, I will return in full to you. I'm going to carry on with voicemail readings and email readings up until the 15th um, and stay up to date. Instagram, Facebook, YouTube and how me and baby are getting on. Let's go. So think about your person for me. Can we get into your person? Thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes. And let's do all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances and changes of deck number two. So we're looking at why they aren't contacting you, what's actually, what they're up to. And we're also going to look at the future energies for you and them. And as always, it works in the strongest mutual energy between you all. So no contact. What is going on with deck number two? 
Oh, there's a lot of pain. There's pain. What is going on with deck number two and their person? Let's get one more. There's your beautiful tower. Okay. Uh, can I have three cards for the outcome of returning? Contact returning. One, two. That's good. Three. In fact, let's have both of them. Um, okay, I'm going to start off with these, and if we need to pull more, I will pull more. Right, you and your person are going through some serious heartbreak at this moment in time. Now, again, it works in the strongest mutual energy with you all, but it looks like some of you guys have had tower moments where it's gone peak tongue. So you've either had big tower moments uh, where everything has really kind of fallen apart. You've had little tower moments where there's been arguments, difficulties, pain and heartbreak. Um, and it's all kind of landed on this three of swords energy over here, sadness heaviness, heartbreak. Your person and you, there could be potentially third party influences on this. Um, you will know about that. If if you don't know about that, then that's because I'm not talking to you. Third party influences kind of coming up over here. Either you could be with someone else, they could be with someone else and it's gone really heavy. You guys couldn't cope anymore so you ended it or um, it's just this kind of this third party energy, this worry, this doubt, this concerns and it's caused these towers to happen. Like I said, if you don't know about the third party, ignore that bit because I'm not talking to you. Towers have happened, arguments have happened, pain has happened and it's caused this, this heartbreak with you both. Your person is feeling this as well, okay? Your person is feeling this heaviness, this sadness. Um, they're feeling very ungrounded from the situation at this moment in time. And what's happening with them is they're internalising. So your person often reacts um, a lot on like the fire energy, you know, they get hurt, they get self-defensive, they push, they push, they push. They don't just avoid, they just push away. Um, and so what's happening with your person at the moment is they're going inside of themselves and internalising a lot of their emotions. And this is why we have the two of wands coming up here. They're thinking things through. They, your person reacts a lot when they go inside themselves. It's like they're doing a little bit of soul searching over the connection with you at the moment. They do love you, they do love you. And when we're looking at the outcome over here, we have the two of cups, we have the true love card. They, they absolutely do love you. Um, circumstances are what is making this difficult for the majority of you. Um, and other than that, again, your person internalizing their emotions. Circumstances can be between you and them as well. So what they're doing at the moment, they're trying to look into the future. And we have OM over here. I don't know if any of you read OM. I love OM. Um, I love the trees and reading the trees and things like that. You have this OM energy where they're looking into the future. They're trying to use perhaps their knowledge of things they've gained in the past, doing the soul searching and trying to come up with solutions to the problem with you guys. Problem in inverted brackets. And that's why they're not talking to you. That's why they're avoiding you at this moment in time short-lived spirit are saying the words short-lived it won't take long and from that we have this eight of wands energy coming towards you okay movement coming forward they're going to be working things through they're going to be thinking things out they're going to be really like i said going within themselves internalizing perhaps pushing you away a little bit whilst they do that and um, but they're going to come up to solutions with this there is this element of solution. Now, the the kind of issue here in inverted brackets is this looks to be something that's been going around in a bit of a cycle, in a bit of a loop. So you guys have probably had a few tower moments hit, uh, a few, you know, traumatic moments hit between the two of you. Um, and again, your person debating what to do about it all. You are stuck in a cycle with your person. <coughs> That was the posty. <laughs> you are stuck in a cycle with your person. And it's kind of like this, don't really know how to, to get out of this, this cycle that you two have been um, going round in. And again, this is why they're kind of trying to internalise and coming up with solutions for it. Now, that's where that energy currently is. That's currently what's happening with them. They haven't stopped thinking about you. They haven't stopped run. They, they haven't technically run away from the situation. They are still there. They are still involved in their connection with you. They are still wanting this. 
and the love between the two of you like i said it's very very strong it's there very beautiful connection it's just it's kind of got to a point that it's like we're going round in circles and they just got circles by post malone then remember that song it's, it's a beautiful song um so the phone spirit throwing that song at you going round in circles and it feels like this kind of pain, this heartbreak is, is kind of continuous. Now, when we're looking at the outcomes, we have the hanged man and we have um, the devil card kind of coming up as well. So with the devil card being over here, with this kind of traumatic energy going on with you guys, um, you have this, like I said, this cycle, this not toxicity i always find that when people say devil cards toxic I, it doesn't sit with me i don't i don't necessarily agree with that i agree that it's a very passionate connection that it pulls the two of you together and just like the helixes of divine connections it's this kind of wavering energy um circumstances okay so not necessarily toxic but an addiction energy happening between you guys they're not going to go far um, and, you know, both of you having this pain and this heartbreak, both of you struggling with this, they do miss you. They're missing the contact. They're missing speaking to you. Now, with the hanged man over here, this always kind of reminds me of a baby in the womb. They are internalising again, going within themselves to find the energy, uh, find the solutions, um, really thinking things through. Now, this person, your person over here, I learned a lot during pregnancy. If he was like this, he would be in breach. He's not, okay? Your person, the hangman being a he, again, never sexually orientated or gender specific, but with the hangman, it, it's a man energy. So this is him in breach. This is him saying, I'm not moving. I'm not going to make any contact with you. I'm going to sit there. He's come out the right way and he's getting ready to birth, okay? Your hanged man energy is getting ready to move forward with you. You have this energy, this connection, this bond. You're going to hear from him. Timing, or, or them, sorry. Um, timing on this is really kind of quite abrupt, Spirit are saying. You might feel that nothing's happening and then out of nowhere, you're going to get this very abrupt message coming towards you. Ten of Cups over here, the love the two, share, uh, two of you share. An ending of a cycle, a beginning of a new one. You've also got a family connection happening here. And again, your two of cups, the love. So the no contact with you and your person, they haven't actually wandered far. You might think that they've vanished into the sunset. They haven't. They are still very much in your energy. They are still very much here for you. Um, it's just that they have disappeared for a little while to try and come up with solutions to this connection. Will they come up with a solution? Let's have a look. Will their person come up with solutions on how to break this cycle, the, the more negative cycle? It looks like they're going to come towards you with some kind of idea on how they are going to resolve this. So they're going to be, they are planning. They are forward planning. And that's actually quite exciting because when they're forward planning, it means that they they know that this connection can work with you guys, despite the circumstances, despite what you've been going through. You've got your Queen of Cups over here. It's called the Weaver of Visions in this deck. Weaving the future. And your Three of, one, uh, your three of Cups over here for your celebration. Very strong love energy with all this Cups flagging forward. So your person is going to come up with solutions to this. They are going to make a bit of an offering to you and say, well, you know what? Let's see where this goes. Let's see where this goes. Now, the only downside of this all is that your person might be a little bit scared to make the choices and decisions that come from that. Okay, they might get a little bit frightened. And we've got, again, this womb energy coming up here, the hangman. So they're going to come to you with solutions. So this is the idea. This is what we're going to do. This is the plan. Then they have to put it into action. Okay, but that's a different reading. And if you need me to look at that, you can just drop me a message. And that is deck number two. So, love you all to pieces. Just a quick recap. I've said it about four times now, but just so you know. Last day of uh, private readings before I go on maternity is the 5th of November. Book by October 22nd to avoid any disappointment. If you make any payments after that day, I will refund them into your bank account. Out of Office is going to be on from the 6th of November. Um, I'm still going to be doing voice readings and email readings up until the 15th. Baby is coming on the 17th. Um, I knew it was going to be early. It's coming on the 17th if he doesn't decide to come even earlier. <laughs> but that's when they put me in for. Uh, stay up to date on Instagram, Facebook, um, and YouTube updates each week on how me and baby are doing pictures, videos, everything you want to know, we will put up for you. 
we being me and my guides and the baby. <laughs> Not that he's got a say in it. <laughs> um, so I just want to thank you all for your love and support as always. I've had loads of messages about PO boxes and where to send gifts. So thank you all so, so much. Um, I love you all to pieces. I will see you next week. Have a totally blessed week and enjoy the Sarwain energy rising. It's getting really magnificent out there. If you can, get outside in nature, go for a beautiful walk with me, for, for me, with me, for me, and send me some pictures, because I really miss it. I really miss it, and I can't walk. <laughs> All right, guys, lots of love. Ciao.